Good Wednesday evening, Southeast Texas. Looks like a stormy day across the area coming up tomorrow. Some good news. All levels of tree, weed and grass pollen are down. Mold is back up, though, on the allergy index. There is a marginal or 5% risk of severe weather coming up tomorrow, so it looks pretty tame across the area. So a stormy Thursday. It looks like mainly morning hours, but that'll open the door to a fantastic Easter weekend forecast and then more storms uh, possible next Wednesday. Here's the storm system. You can see it's spinning right there over into New Mexico. That's causing the severe weather up into the Texas Panhandle. And this disturbance is going to translate or move on off towards the north and east. That will drag our cold front through the area as we head on into tomorrow afternoon, opening the door to a fantastic weekend. Tonight looks pretty quiet as we take it hour by hour. Here's your time index right here in the upper right hand corner of your screen. But by midnight, still only about a 20% coverage at most across the area. It's going to be a warm, humid night, a breezy night as south winds keep things up. Then we'll be watching a line of showers and thunderstorms. What I think is going to happen is that this will weaken as it moves on into southeast Texas and uh, almost fall apart. But uh, as it does move on in, it looks like during the morning hours, we ought to see those winds shift to the west as that front pushes on through. So scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms expected even on into noon. I think the bulk of this is going to be out of here by about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We ought to see abundant sunshine tomorrow afternoon, late, and may even see that sunset and high temperatures around 80, maybe the lower 80s. Now, if the clouds don't move out and we're stuck with clouds, then we'll stay in the 70s, and then that secondary front pushes through, and that's really when the drier air mass will filter on in. Rainfall totals as much as one, maybe two inches are possible, primarily up towards the lakes area with this go round. Otherwise, on the Gulf of Mexico, a small craft advisory in effect tomorrow for rough seas around 3 to 5 and a south wind shifting west at 10 to 15. So tonight, about a 50 to 70 percent coverage of showers and thunderstorms. It'll be warm, humid and breezy, and this is mainly after about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Winds will likely gust to 20 miles an hour, particularly in the triangle. Low temperatures and because of the threat for rain, we'll be into the middle to upper 60s across the board. And then for tomorrow, an 80 to 90 percent coverage. It'll be warm, humid and breezy, and it's going to be mainly in the morning hours with high temperatures around 80 to the lower 80s. Winds behind the front could gust to 25 miles an hour. Extended forecast, good Friday looks fantastic. A cool morning, but a pleasantly warm afternoon with low humidity. Saturday looks fantastic. If you're going up to the uh, Magnolia Festival up into uh, Curryville and then Easter Sunday looking fantastic. A cool morning, but at least it's dry. The first dry weekend in several. And then Monday, south winds return in earnest. We'll see the clouds being scooped up and brought back into southeast Texas on Monday. A few showers coming up on Tuesday, but Wednesday looks like our best chance of uh, another round of uh, weather moving on in. Storms about a 40 to 50 percent coverage this far out. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com slash weather. Stay safe. Have a fantastic Wednesday night.